Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be doing some more requested reaction videos. And this video is requested by Zach Wolf Fox. And it's going to be classic nursery rhymes on VHS Part 1 by Caddy Karas. Alright, more Caddy Karas. Totally awesome. Um, but yeah, classic nursery rhymes, that scares me. <laughs> because nursery rhymes are normally for babies and toddlers and all that. And most of, most of them are very painful and excruciatingly uh, haunting. Um, from what I remember. Uh, what was that one? with the uh th that that was actually based on a disaster what was that a, a pocket full of posies or something like that a tissue a tissue we all fall down that was based on something real that a real tragedy uh, you know when everyone was dying from like disease or something like that i mean that was uh <laughs> that was traumatizing when i actually found that out but uh yeah classic nursery rhymes i only know sort of like a couple um, from a child I used to listen to, like, uh, I've been working on the railroad. I don't know if that's a nursery rhyme, uh, or someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. I don't know if that's a nursery rhyme once again. But I do know, like, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Jack and Jill went up the hill, and, um, London Bridge is falling down. And, oh, yeah, number six, number of the beast was the, uh, <laughs> pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, the devil song. <laughs> uh, play that song backwards, dear lord. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, play the video, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> and Farrah Shaka, actually, yeah, a French song. Salutations, my beautiful people, and welcome to the Kadokura Show, where I always have to do the dirty deed of deciding whether or not a game deserves to be slaughtered or salvaged. Hark! Mine ears hath heard a special hurtling, as if it be true something hath fallen from the heavens above. What is this? <laughs> Please let it be wow, good rhymes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go back into the Paulie Shaw and Spindly Johnny <laughs> world of director DVD, or in this case, more accurately, director VHS. And I'm willing to bet that out of the half a million people subscribed to my channel, only five of you have heard of this gem. I'm about to go really obscure on your asses today. Probably the most obscure I've ever Postman. gone, so I hope you're ready. One thing that it's you should know one. about me is that I am fascinated by nursery rhymes. That was a TV I love them. Series. Half of them are bloody really stupid are. and make no sense at all. Many of them are weird beyond description, but are very catchy to sing along to. And some have ridiculously dark origins that make me question why the fuck kids sing them gayfully in the playground. And when I was young, <laughs> and I mean really young, my nan had a very quaint collection of VHS cassettes that my sister and I could watch whenever we went over to their house. She had a lot of the Disney classics collection when there were only like 25 of them to buy and a couple of extremely bloody strange ones <laughs> funnily enough though the strange ones were all nursery rhyme based short movies a bit of an odd coincidence but mm. i loved re-watching them clearly and i remember four of them that she had bbc's rhyme time which was honestly <laughs> The keeper of the key. I'm the not familiar with this, never key. seen this. Bizarre beyond comprehension. There was another that was made for deaf people Children and had subtitles on a sign language lady at the top right of the video, but I don't remember what it was called or who made it. There was another narrated and sung by British national treasure Darren Day that was so full of cringe it smells of rotting cheese. And finally, <laughs> the classic nursery rhymes collection by Longman Videos, which we watched more than any of the others over and over again. It hypnotized us. This was an hour-long epic collection of nursery rhymes with music composed by John Duprez. Sorry if I'm pronouncing okay. that wrong but he's famous for composing the scores of the meaning of life a fish called wanda and even tmnt one to three in Damn. the early 90s yes i'm not <laughs> joking the compilation featured the musical talents of all sorts of people from uk kids tv presenting legend floella benjamin to hugely inspirational folk musician martin carthy who also played and sang alongside in one of my favorite bands ever steel ice band despite the same budget of a tin of soup and made by a handful of people it somehow had animations puppets green screen people and special effects galore look at look at the special effects and all of this considered I remember those sort of rather, books. Well, shit. After its release in 1982, <laughs> it managed to sell cool. over a million copies in the UK. Impressive Damn. stuff. It became a bit of a cult classic. But don't take my word for it. Just I probably had it, but I can't reviews remember. On the back of the DVD from the year 2000 <laughs> about the VHS tape. I'm talking about a UK nursery on VHS today. What the fuck am I doing with my life? So for the sake of my pathetic nostalgia, but mostly because I want to laugh at it from how cheap, tacky, and budgeted it is, I am now alienating everybody on my channel who doesn't have a clue about anything okay. that I just talked about as I dive into Longman's The Classic Nursery Rhyme Collection. 
And oh, even right. if you don't know what I'm talking about, I really do hope you enjoy this as much as I know I will, because this film gets so fucking ridiculous, I can't even describe it. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my comfy position right now, because I know I'm going to suffer. <laughs> ah, I know that cheeky bassoon from anywhere. This must be Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty, but yes. where is he? Uh, <coughs> oh, oh, Lord, he's coming. Oh, he, he's Very coming. slowly. There he is! Ah, my God! Holy if you thought the king egg was scary, well, this guy is coming to get you seven days after you finish this video. <laughs> oh, God, it's like the fuck <laughs> S the Ring movie. It's okay, like... whatever, I'm over this now. Let's just enjoy it for what it is. <laughs> oh, no, the singing isn't helping. Oh, God, quick, just fall off the bloody wall, expose your brain, die horribly, and let's move on. Okay, <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> what was that? No, don't play it again. I don't need to hear it again. That was awful. What? what? Why was that there? Oh. To, to make I don't care. Next you know that he was in Mary, pain? Mary, I have no... Ah, oh, Mary, 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 me Mary. When I was a kid. Or Mary had a little lamb, yeah. Well, except the bush having a fit. That, that's a little bit interesting. And pretty mates all in a row. Hmm, there's no pretty maids here, me dears. Only death and scorn. Born. The next song begins and it's Jack and Jill went up the Jack hill. Jack and Classic Jill went stuff. up the and hill. The Get a of water. Love. It's gleefully played on a fiddle and perfectly complements the acoustic guitar's counterpoint, which could have just been chords, but fuck it, let's just go complicated. Who the fuck goes up a hill to get some water? No, they um, didn't. <laughs> I don't think they did. It looks like they just climbed a few green stairs to me. Jack fell down and broke <laughs> oh, whoa! They entered light speed for a second there, and they left the realm of physics so quickly that the stairs even followed alongside them. <laughs> don't blame you for crying there, Jack. That looked very painful. Oh, Jack. Ooh, well, Jack. J Jack, you, you need to see a doctor. You need to get that monster of a face sorted. The next song is Goosey Goosey Gander, the lovely kid's classic about a goose that goes into someone's house and finds a man not praying before going to bed. And so the goose took him by the left leg and threw him down the stairs. <laughs> Jesus, that went from zero to a hundred quickly. Jesus. I've never seen such a terrifying <laughs> such... goose in all my life. I'm never going to piss off a goose ever again. Not be ignored either. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, kids, stop singing. Are you seeing what we're seeing right now? Run away while you still can. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, you can run away after the obligatory green screen ducks flap around for us. Make sure to pray or this goose is going to kick your ass down a pair of stairs. <laughs> the next two songs I also found pretty boring as a kid, despite the awesome fact that the kids in the film are moving around a paper fold-up church. That's imaginative for no budget at all. But yeah, it's just... Oh, I've heard this song. song. Not very interesting at all, but it's followed by Ring Around the Roses, which now I know is all about the plague makes this entire... Yes, I heard about, about that. Yes. A tissue, we all fall down. I heard about the history of that song. I didn't know that. That's, that's, that's disturbing. I know, it's it's messed up. I never knew it. I must also question the validity of this sound effect. I read the history of that. It's definitely not what happens on screen at all. Oh, look, it's the end of a chapter. Oh. Yeah, okay, I think I should explain this. Again, in a very imaginative and ambitious move for being made in someone's bathroom, probably, this entire movie's theme is that it all takes place in a book of nursery rhymes, hence all of the fold-up environments and buildings and all the awesome page-turning transitions. In order to not have a constant assault of nursery rhymes blasted at you, the film is divided into the chapters of the book, which play a brief musical piece that is revisited throughout the film with entirely different instruments and orchestral arrangements. Okay. Alongside a preview of all the songs coming up in the next few minutes, I love this idea, and the piece and is goddamn catchy as hell. Yankee doo doo doo. <laughs> That's a good song. London burning. This is this was a little the North Wharf. Oh. Twinkle twinkle twink, like a little star. Twinkle twinkle little star. Just without the me pissing my pants. The next song is. Well, this is the way the ladies ride. Yeah, I've never yeah. heard of this rhyme, and I've only seen it ever on this do, 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 tape. And the young do, do, lady partaking in this song's do, actions could do, not be in do. any more ecstasy. If you want to do this song at home, you basically have to use a baby to show how different people ride horses. You know, apparently, ladies, trit, trot, trit, trot, gentlemen, trot, 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 trot. and farmers. Well, Gallop. ah, no, stop, stop, <laughs> calm down. That poor, and it ends the by poor baby, right down Jesus. With old men riding horses and how they wobble around and ultimately fall off, injuring the horse, killing the man, and that baby could not give less of a fuck about any of this. While on the subject of horses, poor the baby. next song is another English <laughs> suffering classic, PTSD. Like PTSD. Cock horse, suffering awesome trauma from this. Instruments and a pleasant, if boring, stop motion thing that was going on. Nothing really to say here, so let's move on. Dance oh, it's for kids. Daddy, my you can't expect daddy. a miracle. Dance to your daddy, my little... Oh, no, wait. Dude, no. You... 
You do know that's not how you play bagpipes, right? This this is embarrassing. You're not playing a keytar, they're bagpipes. <laughs> what, are you, what are you even doing? <laughs> yes, everyone, dance in circles around the man who has no idea what it's he's so even doing. It's so sad that I know that. I love that game. I've played that for years. Look at his face. I've played it for like eight years. Right now. Cut it out. Yeah, that oh, poor kid. Him. That looks like he's suffering. <laughs> oh, dear. Is that like a Chinese the symbol on his hand, or the Legend of Zelda sort of symbol? Of a rhyme and not that the eye. In this film. I can't tell. A book turning while kids read out each part of the rhyme. Five, six, pick up sticks. I don't want to pick up sticks. Play them straight. And everything seems okay until this bit. Fifteen, sixteen, maids in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the laughter of the devil's children. It sounds like children of the corn. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. No complaints here, once again it just does its job fine. But then when we find out the fish bit the little boy's finger and that's why he threw him back into the pond, when we see which finger... This little finger on the right. Um, wait, no, no. That that's not his little finger, and it's not drawn like a thumb because it's pointing straight up. What? So it must be an so... index finger, so this means that the kid has six fingers. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. How did you appear from fucking thin air, you evil wizard? The song after that is Oh Dear, What Can the Matter Be? Another English classic and one that has a kid in it that mastered Michael Jackson's moonwalk just in time for the Victorian fun fair. Immediately after that, though, is Hot Cross Buns with an we're old moonwalking guy back so happy to be then and this. we're mo moonwalking kind of now. Oh, look at that. Face. What a steal. I want to steal him. We oh, that's a hot cross taking him, however, what he fails to realise is that yet that's again, in the same fun fair classic. around the corner, the next tune will begin, and he'll be stuck watching a boring load of fucking Morris dancers for a minute and a half. I mean, seriously, no ill will to Morris dancers out there. If you like it, fucking good on you. It's harmless, but... I just don't get it. I don't find it interesting or impressive, and with the constant flailing cloths and jingle belled feet, it drives me nuts after 20 seconds, let alone a minute it and a half. It's a shame because the rhyme itself is one of the catchiest in the film. It's for kids. You know, you can't really watch this as an adult. Whatever so. the hell that means. How do you blow a top knot off? But it means <laughs> that you have to sit tight and watch these unchanging and poorly green it's screen for dancing beardies for 90 seconds before moving on. It's not Don't exactly worry, though, for adults. We quickly end up on the loudest part of the damn film with an angry man screaming. Screaming at you about the grand old Duke of York. He mm -hmm. them up to the top of the hill and he them down again. <laughs> Christ bike. Calm down, man. <laughs> Actually, now we're on this subject. Have you ever realised how fucking dumb this nursery rhyme is in the first place? Yeah. Like, I mean, when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. I mean, first Maybe of all, because... down rhymes with down, so that's not very good. And secondly, fucking duh, right? <laughs> I mean, what else are you supposed to say? It's not like you can go, uh, when they were up, they were down, and when they were down, they were left, and when they were only halfway up, they got into a spaceship and fucked off. It's like, you, you can't say that. Ugh, now this, this is boring. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, why can't we watch porn? This little sheep falls asleep while looking after sheep, and nobody will wake <laughs> him up because we... he'll cry. That's the nursery rhyme. Oh, I mean, grow the boy. fuck up, people. Who wrote this? Do you want your sheep back or not? Then wake this little shit up and smack him for even thinking about crying when he's looking after living beings. I need something a little bit more logical. Um, hey diddle diddle. Perfect. I lost the regret. What the fuck am I listening to? The little dog loved to sing so it's fun. And the dish ran away with the roast beef. The next part, for whatever reason, was like my favourite part of the film when I was a kid. The okay. song is known as Aiken Drum. Aiken Ever heard Drum. of it? Neither have I. But it's no. here, and when I was younger, I thought that his name was Aiken John. There was a man lived in the moon and his name was Aiken John. The song is about a man like that it, lives no. on the moon and wears clothes made out of different food. And I will admit that yet again, <laughs> the song is one of the best of the film. Extremely catchy and full of bouncy banjos, but... Why did I like this bit so much as a kid? Looking back, this guy's kind of a creeper. <laughs> oh no, no man, put your beefy jacket back on. You aren't sexy. <laughs> this isn't the time or place for that nonsense. There are children here. Think of the children. Lucy think of the children. The Somebody pie. think of the children. Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it. Only ribbon round it. Hmm. Did you know that nursery rhyme is about prostitution in the 18th century? Wow. 
<laughs> oh, damn. I'm not kidding. Look it up. Seriously, look it up. Jesus. That's messed up, isn't it? That's Weeky dark. Winky Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs, in his nightgown, rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children all in bed? It's past eight o'clock. Well, even if they are, you just woke them up with your yelling, you <laughs> moron. Also, you're a kid. Why aren't you in bed? This rhyme is stupid. What follows at this point are a load of quick-fire rhymes that I haven't got anything to say about. Even Little Bo Peep, for as famous as that song is, it's just not that interesting to talk about as well, even with real-life lambs involved. So much potential. Squandered. So let's hope that the next rhyme, Little Miss Muffet, gets the respect and charisma it deserves. Okay, things this are This is all bizarre, so but nice you got to remind yourself that this oh, is... Oh, no. There's the cheeky oh, babies and oh, Who's and coming kids. down? Who is it? Who's coming down? Ah! Ooh. There it is. Oh, There's squish it. Kill it. Spider. Kill it with fire. I love this thing. Kill it. Look at it. It dances the cheeky I hate spiders. I got a spider phobia. I got spider phobia. <laughs> Stop showing it. That, and it kind of looks like Pingu had dreadlocks and then <laughs> had half of his head torn off. This, this spider is worth the price oh, of Oh, please stop showing you. that damn thing. I've got a spider phobia. <laughs> oh, did you just see that? Look at him go. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we now get introduced to old King Cole, the merry old soul with his pipe and his bowl, and... Jesus, if you think 90 seconds of Morris dancing would be too much, then how about instead 120 seconds of this goddamn mother-humping king waving his arms around all over the place with a bright red half-asleep face like your drunk uncle at a Christmas dinner while his angry Terminator musicians appear and look like they're going to shoot up every single person in the room while the king's terrified and poor defenseless child slave servant sits there too afraid to move and gets stroked on his head like a dog every so often. Yeah, Would it's like kind that? of strange. Because I don't like any of it. Okay, Yankee Doodle. This one everybody Yankee should Doodle. know. And this I kid here, this. this kid knows he's starring in one of the most well-known nursery rhymes of all time. He's so cocky and convinced he's in the best part of the film that they even give him a slow-mo shot. Dang, look at Slow that motion. But be warned, Yankee Doodle, because it appears that the foundations of the town as we know it are rupturing and everyone shall die. Okay, the next song here is Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush. What's the song? How does it go? This is it. I've heard this song before, yes. And that's it. That's all it is. And they just keep repeating that over and over again using different daily routines as their verses. And I mean, where's the rhyme? This is the way we brush our teeth on a cold and frosty morning. Where's the rhyme? This is the way we brush our teeth on a cold and frosty morning. Who needs to where's have the a rhyme? rhyme? This is the way we curl our hair on a cold and frosty morning. Hashtag where's the rhyme? <laughs> this is the way we go to school on a cold and frosty morning. This is an nursery rhyme! See, that kid, that kid, that kid gets it. He knows how fucking stupid this whole thing is, so he's not taking it seriously at all and shuts <laughs> up everyone behind him. I love how they decided to keep that blooper in. Keep on rocking on, kid, whatever you're doing nowadays. <laughs> you could see past the bullshit even more than the adults who made this. The next song is known as Soldier, Soldier, Won't You Marry Me? And yes, the puppets are goddamn petrifying. And if you don't know the song, here's the basic gist. Soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, pipe and drum? Oh no, sweet man. Look at those eyes. Why are they pure black? To like the yes, soul of the dark soul lord himself. To marry a lady because he hasn't got the right outfit to marry her in. Fair enough, I guess. So she helps him out with all of her grandfather's things until he's fully dressed for a wedding. But then how does the rhyme end? Oh, sweet maid, I cannot marry you, for I have a wife of my own. You miserable wow. scumbag. You come in here, tell this lady that you can marry her if you have the right outfit, then watch her slowly <laughs> give you everything you want and don't bother telling her that you already have a wife and then you just fuck off and steal all her granddad's clothes. What the hell? Did you not care about your wife at all? Are you having affairs all over the place? <laughs> this is some elaborate scam. Maybe Why are it's kids just... singing this shit? Ugh, maybe if we go towards the lot more innocent pop I mean, the weasel, it's smart. You got a pair okay. of free clothes. What I love about this one is not only the adorable cuddly weasel that actually appears randomly in the song. It's, it's bloody cute. Okay? <laughs> It's but also that this whole rhyme cute. is sung in a Cockney accent. <laughs> yeah, that's Cockney. My, my father's I also Cockney. love how in this shot, the kids are supposed to activate pop guns and they malfunction. But instead of just redoing the shot, they just leave the footage of the guns failing and the kids all looking confused and disappointed. <laughs> Why the hell did you keep that in? I don't know, but it gave me a laugh, so I'll let it slide. Oh, hey, look, it's more Cockney kids singing another rhyme. It's the old man is snoring. <laughs> okay, I think we're done on the Cockney. Yeah, hey, uh, I, I used to the say this song will be all just the as time. adorable as those accents. What the fuck is this? It's like a demented... Oh, yeah. stop this. 
like the devil's music. I feel unclean. What the fuck am I meant to make of any of this? Look at it. It's hideous. Why is the music so ominous? I mean, I get that he's a crooked man, but... Ugh, uh, no, stop. Die in a hole. Look, can we just speed through this part and get it over with? I really don't like it. <laughs> Sweet bonking wank biscuits. The weird levels are starting wank to get told biscuits. on me. I don't know how much I can handle anymore. Oh, Here's another boy. rhyme. Ding dong bell. How does this one go Ding again? Dong bell. Ding dong bell. What, like a vagina? Or, you know, uh, <laughs> I was thinking that, but yeah, I was thanks, trying Walter to... Junior. <laughs> that guy's great. He's there whenever you need him. Of course, it's a cat. And in this song, this Jordan underneath looking motherfucker tried to drown the cat. I'm not kidding. What? A naughty boy was what? Drowned, called pussy cat. what the actual hell? This is just depressing. And this guy doesn't know what to make of it at all as well. Perhaps <laughs> we should just move on. Oh, no. No, 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 oh, no, McDonald no. This is probably farm. my least favorite nursery <sighs> rhyme of all time. Old Christ. McDonald had a bloody farm. Yeah, he had a farm. Bad. What happened to it? <laughs> I bombed it because I hate this song so much. It doesn't rhyme, it isn't catchy, it's repetitive as sin, it goes on far longer than it has any right to, and it's just lazily written and lazily performed whoever does it. I I'm sorry. I never thought this time ten years ago that my job in the future would involve dissecting how awful old McDonald had a farm is. <laughs> and this here is no different, and what makes it worse is the constant kid chorus screaming out every single verse and chorus, the still images that never change, and the fact that it goes on for nearly two and a half minutes. I don't know what else to say here, this scene sucks and it ruins the central part of the entire film. Well, yeah, I've cool. now certainly decided this is a little bit too much for me to handle for just one video. Yes, everybody, I'm afraid to say that my deep and meaningful analysis of this pure work of art here went pure a little work bit longer of art. than I was anticipating, so it will have to be a two-parter. <laughs> but hey, if you enjoyed it, please tune in to part two next Sunday, painful. where you can further watch me rip to pieces this classic beloved nursery rhyme collection. Apart from old McDonald, he can stuff it. Before I go, though, today, I'd like to <laughs> send a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys are all unbelievable. You're incredible people and so generous, and I really can't thank you enough for what you do and how you support the show. It means more to me than I can even feasibly describe. Um, all of you on the screen, you help out the show in a way that you really, really have no idea. If any of you out there are thinking about um, having a look on how to support the show even more, well, yes, have a look in the description. It'll be at the end of this video. Um, it's completely and I can't stress this enough, 100% optional, nobody is holding a gun to your head. You don't have to do it at all, you don't even have to look at the page. If you do though, just looking at the page is enough to make me thank you to the high heavens and back because it means so much to me. And until part two of this video, if it's your birthday today watching this video, happy freaking birthday to you and please remember to stay beautiful. <laughs>